What's up guys, we're going to be learning how to jailbreak iOS 5.1. Uh, in this tutorial I'll be using my iOS device, my iPod Touch 3G. Uh, I stated in my vi previous video uh, announcing that the jailbreak was out for iOS 5.1 that I'll be using my 4th generation. Um, I did not want to use the 4th generation because it is already jailbroken, so I'm going to go ahead and use a non-jailbroken device, uh, which is my 3G. It, uh, it is supported. Uh, iOS devices are supported except for the iPad 2, the new iPad that just was just released yesterday, uh, March 7th, and the uh, iPhone 4S is not supported. The iPhone 4, however, is, and all other iOS devices are. So, what I want to tell you guys is, uh, go ahead and sync all your applications, your music, your photos, your movies, everything that's on your iPod or iOS device that you are going to be jailbreaking in this video that is uh, on 5.1, uh, sync them to your iTunes and uh, do not back up your do not back it up. Uh, that means it creates a restore point, which uh, when you restore it, it restores it back to the previous firmware that it was currently on, uh, jailbroken or not. So it pretty much restores it back to the way you had it before you even jailbroke it. Uh, I do have my links down below to my website, which you can download the IPSWs for 5.1 for your for your uh, device down below. Uh, it, it is supported by the iPad first generation. Uh, like I said, I, I, all iOS devices. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be using Red Snow for Windows and Mac. Uh, I'm using a Mac, so um, that's how I'll be jailbreaking. But it's the same thing on Windows, just follow the same instructions and it should be able to jailbreak your device. But like I said, do not back up, sync your iTunes uh, t with your music, your photos and everything else. Do not back it up. Uh, I cannot stress that enough. So let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Okay guys, as you see here that I am using the iPod Touch 3G. Uh, it is 3G because it has no camera, it has the Wi-Fi sensor there. So I'll show you guys that I am using iOS 5.1. So let's go ahead and go there and go to General. Go to About. And then version 5.1. I am not kidding, I am using 5.1. So we are using the iPod Touch 3G. You can use the 4G if you want. So let's go ahead and begin the tutorial. Okay guys, so we're going to begin the jailbreak for iOS 5.1. And right now I have my iOS device, my iPod Touch 3G. And what you want to do is pretty much make sure you have the IPSW for your iPod Touch 3rd generation or whatever iOS device you're using. As you see here, I have the IPSW for 5.1 for the iPod Touch 3G. And as you see here, I have Red Snow for Mac. So what you want to do is go to the link below and uh, go to my website and you will see the download links right there. Just scroll down just a bit and you will see that the firmware downloads right there. You can download the firmware for your iPad, your iPhone, or your iPod Touch. Uh, just like the version or model that you have and um, this jailbreak again does not work for the iPod I mean for the iPad 2 or 3 or the iPhone 4S so pretty much the new new iOS devices except for the iPod Touch 4G is not is a, it can't be used on this and this is a tethered jailbreak so when you reboot your device in Cydia or whatever uh, it will boot into regular into a regular uh, iOS 5.1 uh, so you'll have to use Red Snow to boot the device back into the jailbreak, which I'll also show you guys how to do because that is part of the jailbreak. So like I said, make sure you have the IPSW downloaded, and also make sure you have Red Snow for Mac or Windows. This is a Mac or Windows jailbreak. So I have both links for Mac and Windows in the description below for uh, Red Snow. So let's go ahead and open up Red Snow. Uh, for Windows users, you're going to want to right click and open as administrator so what you're going to want to do is go to jailbreak on red snow and we're going to make sure that the device is powered off and connected to your computer so make sure your device is connected as here mine is connected to my mac mini which is right here so we're going to power off the device just hold the power button and turn off the device Uh, we're going to put this device into DFU mode, which is pretty much a recovery sort of mode where the jailbreak will take place. Uh, so pretty much to enter into DFU mode, you're going to want to hold the power button for 3 seconds. While holding the power button, then hold the, hold the home button for 10 seconds, holding both. And then release the power button after 10 seconds and continue to holding, holding the home button. So we're going to want to put it into DFU mode, so get ready. 
I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get ready. So I'm holding. The, I'm gonna be holding the power button as soon as I click next. So next, hold the power button for three seconds, and then hold the home button. And release the power button. And should exploit with Lime Rain. And upload first stage. Uploading second stage. And waiting for reboot. Uh, please continue holding the home button until I say to release it. Just switching fingers there. As you see here, it'll see it'll have a boot screen. As you'll see here, that it is patching your kernels for your jailbreak and preparing the jailbreak data. So if you got to the screen, it works. Uh, just okay. We're at the screen. If you want to enable battery percentage, meaning you can see how much battery is left, then you can enable that if you want to. You don't have to. Uh, you don't really need to click install custom bundle. They just leave that be. And pretty much, you do want to install Dissidia because that is the point of this jailbreak. So make sure you have this checked. You do not have to have this checked. You can if you want to. It is uh, by default. Uh, so let's go ahead and click next. And we are waiting for reboot. And it's downloading jailbreak data, so you can actually pretty much release the home button and let it do its thing. I will not uh, cut any of this because I am wanting to show you guys how long the process actually takes. And so, as you see here on Red Snow, it says done. This is still going to go through some stuff for about a couple minutes. Uh, so let's just go ahead and talk about what Red Snow says. Uh, that the device is tethered, meaning that you're going to use this uh, jailbreak program to boot into tethered mode. So we're going to go back and put select just boot tethered mode. So let's go ahead and go back now that that is completed. And you see here, this is extras. Uh, you saw the extra screen. Now, um, if the jailbreak didn't work for you before, why when you put it into DFU mode, follow DFU mode instructions. But before you do that, go into extras where it says underneath jailbreak and select and go down to select IPSW and just open up the IPSW that you have which mine's right here so you would go find that on your computer and just pretty much open up your IPSW and it should boot up into the jailbreak just fine make sure, it's the, make sure it is the same firmware that your iPod or iOS device is currently on it cannot be 5.01 and then you select 5.1 it will not work so we're gonna have to go into boot to just tether mode right now so just boot tether right now which if you reboot your device at any time, you're going to have to do this again. Meaning, once you jailbreak it, we're going to have to do this. And then once you, you uh, install something from Cydia or it has to respring your device, or not respring, but reboot your device, you'll have to do this again on Red Snow. Otherwise, your jailbreak programs will not work after rebooting your iPod Touch or iOS device. So we're going to hit just boot and we're going to have to put the thing in DFU mode again. So once this is complete and it has rebooted into the device, we're going to turn it off and put it into DFU mode again. So let's just go ahead and wait. And I'll let this go. Much. And this process does take like a few minutes, so uh, don't. If you guys are patient enough, this jailbreak will work. Um, this is. I am actually one of the first people to put up the jailbreak for iOS 5.1, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, if you guys are watching my video, and I'm one of the first ones up, uh, thank you guys for watching my video. Um, so this is pretty. This is one of the first videos. Uh, no one else I know about, not even Ty. Uh, Ty's I hope knows about this jailbreak yet. And as far as I know, he might as well. He might know about it at one. Uh, this video is older, but uh, so as far as I know, he hasn't so put up a video about it. So once this is done, we're going to go into the tethered boot. Once this is installing, and so it's now installing the bundles. Sorry, I'm like in doing this in landscape. Though. I have to put this on the table because I don't really have a big space right now. As you see here, that the device is rebooting. Um, uh, we'll do this in a second. We'll go ahead and worry about the uh, main screen on uh, Red Snow in a moment. Just make sure on Red Snow, after you go through the whole jailbreaking process, that you go into extras and you then you go to just boot, which is just boot tethered right now. 
Make sure you hold that right there and keep that right there. And I'll show you guys, uh, after the jailbreak is completed, I'll show you guys what actually happens. Now that the jailbreak is complete, you still you do see you have Cydia right here. Cydia is installed, but you cannot use it. It is not a program on your iPod, so you cannot use it. So we're going to turn off the device and put in... Poot. Wow. We're going to boot into DFE mode. So we'll turn off the device. It does take a minute to turn off the device after jailbreaking. So the device is off, and now we can go ahead and continue and hit next. Same thing for entering DFE mode. You're going to want to hold the power button for three seconds. Then hold the home button and the power button for 10 seconds. Two, one, and then release the power button. And then you continue holding the home button for a total of 15 seconds, pretty much. And then it should say it exploiting with Lime Rain again. It should do the exact same thing as it did in the jailbreak, but this should be just a little bit different. I'll show you guys how it's different. It should reboot your device, and as you see, there's no Apple logo because it is rebooting into the jailbreak for you guys. It is identifying build, and now you can actually actually release your home button. As you see here, where the Apple logo should be on a regular boot, you have the jailbreak uh, dev team logo, which is a pineapple, pretty much. A bitten pineapple. So this is now jailbroken and you are booted into tethered mode. So here we go, we are done with red snow. You can just cancel out of red snow or whatever you want to do to it. Close everything and pretty much you are done. And we are booting into our jailbroken device right now. It'll take a minute to actually boot up. So don't give it a little time, just give it time. As you see, yeah, I'm still actually connected. Uh, you know, just leave it connected the whole time until the device is actually booted up just to make sure uh, everything is working properly. And I'll go ahead and just let this boot up for you guys. Note, I did not... So, okay, now we are actually in the jailbroken device. Uh, notice I did not actually cut anything out of this video because I wanted to show you guys uh, how long the process actually took. So we're going to unlock and slide over and now you can actually see Cydia you can see the Cydia app so we can open Cydia and see here Cydia is actually open and we can select user and just click next and Cydia will go ahead and do everything that it needs to do downloading the packages and everything and as you see welcome to Cydia that is now jailbroken so every time anytime that you want to reboot your device or pretty much boot into your device after turning it off and then turning it on, you'll want to open up Red Snow and then go to just boot uh, into tethered mode. So that way it just redoes the, it doesn't redo the jailbreak, but it just boots it into the jailbroken uh, firmware for you guys. So thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for watching iOS 5.1 jailbreak video and I hope you guys enjoyed it and you guys are now enjoying your iOS 5.1 jailbroken device. Alright guys, see you guys in my next video.